Hello everybody and welcome to SQL on the Edge. This is episode number 8. We're going to cover the SQL Server Mobile Report Publisher. My name is Warner Chavez. I'm a SQL Server MCM, Microsoft Data Platform MVP and I work at Pythian. Make sure you visit us at pythian.com. So like I said, the topic for today is going to be the new Mobile Report Publisher. This is a new report editing tool that is coming from um, basically as a result of the acquisition of DataZen by Microsoft. So for everybody that is not familiar, uh, DataZen is a um, basically a visualization dashboard creation product. The company was acquired by Microsoft probably um, about six months ago or something like that. Um, and now the products are the more exciting features of DataZen are getting rolled into the biggest uh, reporting service release that we've seen in over 10 years at this point. So SQL Server reporting service has always been uh, the cornerstone of the reporting if you are using the SQL Server uh, stack. It comes included with your SQL Server database license. So it has seen a lot of adoption but it has not seen a big refactor slash facelift since probably SQL Server 2000 so it's really exciting that in 2016 it is going to get a big new release and part of that is this new mobile report publisher. It's in preview at the moment so not all the features are implemented. Um, SQL Server 2016 itself, the new release, is in preview at the moment. It's on CTP. Uh, what is different about the mobile report publisher and what was different about DataZen in general is that it targets all devices. So it targets uh, the web browser, it targets a tablet type of uh, screen, and it also lets you target the mobile. And you edit all of them in one place, and that would be this mobile report publisher. And then you upload it to the secret, uh, to the SQL Server reporting services, and then wherever you're access, accessing that reporting service install from, you basically get the same experience for the report. So it's really cool. Um, the Microsoft is doing a big integrated uh, BI story for uh, reporting services 2016. It's taking the best the best parts of a data stand. It's taking the best ideas off of uh, Power BI, which is the BI in the cloud, and it's putting it together into this new reporting services uh, preview. So we're going to go into the demo. I'm going to do a quick uh, show of what the new reporting services inter face is looking like right now. A lot of the uh, functionality is not yet implemented so I'm just going to give you a quick preview of what it is there right now and then we're going to walk through the mobile report publisher and what the experience looks like to create a dashboard. Alright, let's check out the demo. Okay, so I'm connected right now to this uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 VM that I have running where I have already installed SQL Server 2016 CTP 3.2 now, as you guys can see here on my screen, I have that SQL Server Reporting Services Home, which looks pretty much just like the same old 10-year-old uh, version of the SQL Server Reporting Services Home. However, now we have the preview here, the, the left-hand corner, I can click on it, and then we get the new, more modern-looking SQL Server Reporting Services. So not everything is supported right now. I created a couple of folders. This is supported right now. You can do basic navigation on these. As you can see, I created, for example, a paginator report. This would be the normal report builder report that we are all used to. I have a table that holds my employee data by uh, gender. I'm just going to say, yeah, I got it here. So I'm going to load it and you guys can see all your uh, legacy type of reports will work just fine on the new um, interface of SQL Server Reporting Services and this is now what it's called a paginated report. So there's paginated reports and there's also going to be mobile reports. So I can go here to new. Note that some of this stuff is not implemented yet. So if I go to new mobile report, it's going to tell you, you know, it's coming soon, we're working on it. Um, switch to classic in the meantime, it tells you that even though mobile reports are obviously not supported um, in the classic either. Um, but it's okay. So this is the kind of stuff that still has to get worked on at the moment. If I want to do like security settings, for example, then uh, it'll switch me back over um, to the classic as well. So you guys can see site settings says we're coming soon, so it's not available yet. Um, you can give some feedback. There's the help here, and uh, you can download. Has the links here for Report Builder, um, Power BI for mobile, and Mobile Report Publisher, which is what we're going to talk about um, today. 
So if I go back here, uh, you guys can see I have this human resources folder and I already created these data sets. The way to get the data into the mobile report publisher right now is either through uh, Excel sheets or through a data sets that you have already created inside SQL Server reporting services. So as you guys can see, I created these data sets. They have different uh, types of info, some salary info, gender info, some aggregated hours. It's all um, related on this mock uh, data source that I have for a type of human resources information that you would gather. So this is pretty much what it looks like now for SQL Server reporting services in preview. Now let's jump into the mobile report publisher and look at uh, what that looks like. So this is the new mobile report screen for the new mobile report publisher. Now, something that is interesting here is that the design for a report is basically split in two. First is this area here, this canvas, where basically you can do the design of all the visual elements that you want. And then when you're happy with that, you can hook them up to data. So for example, if let's say um, I wanted a time navigator and I wanted to here at the top you can drag and drop and the interesting thing here as well in the way this uh, um, the report publisher works and it's something that was very unique to the data Zen, uh, software and is one of the reasons the fuel the acquisition is that all these controls are very much uh, like drag and drop so as you guys can see if I have um, they're not just drag and drop but they adapt to the space they have so I can move a control up I can move it down I can make it bigger I can make it smaller um, and we have the different type of controls that you can move it around and make it uh, organize the canvas in any way that you want. So let's say if I wanted, you know, a time series here at the top. Um, then I wanted something like a gauge here, and I wanted the gauge to cover four of these blocks. And then I wanted something like a chart uh, right here, and I wanted the chart to cover this. And let's say that's pretty much what I wanted my report to look like, and I'm happy with that. So this is going to be the master view of the report up here. We can actually change to a tablet view, which gives you a larger screen. Uh, and it gives you the controls that you have there on that master, so you can place them here. So there's tablet and there's phone as well. So phone gives you a smaller space, tablet gives you a little bit more space. The master would be the PC full one, and that gives you the all the you know the entire canvas as you see fit. Now, because I have these controls, I can now reorganize them on the tablet, specifically customized to how I want them to look on the tablet. So let's say on the tablet, I want the time series to be all the way up here. Then I want the gauge to be all the way here and then last I want the um, chart to be all the way here so I have now this is the master view I'm gonna get on the PC this is the tablet view and last we can create the phone view so let's say a phone I have even less space to work with so we're gonna have the times then we're gonna have the same thing the gauge and we're gonna have the controls and now we know what that report is going to look here. How is it going to look on the phone? What look are we going to target on the tablet? And finally, what's going to be the full uh, quality look that we want on desktop? And once you're done with the actual visual part of what you want the report to look like, then you move to the data tab. And then on the data tab, everything has already been filled up with what uh, the publisher calls simulated table, so that it actually uh, populates some of the stuff in your report but here then you can add some data so you can see here I can add either from a local Excel or I can add from a reporting services so that's how you add the data um, I'm gonna because obviously this is gonna be a, just a short demo I'm gonna import um, a report that I already created so let me open one so I already created this one previously and it's very simple it just takes some of that HR data and I have the employees by gender and the top salaries by the employee number so I can tell here you know these are my top 10 um, most expensive employees that I have so anything that's related to formatting I could change it here in this um, the layout view so for example if I want to change the color palette I want to move it to a 
a navy style color palette I can change that or I can go back to the default one um, so anything that's display wise it's here now I'm gonna show you with the data how this works so I imported this uh, two data sets the gender data set and the salary data set so for example for the pie chart I simply have the gender data set selected and I want the values displayed for the categories of males and females if I want the top salaries for the employees I just want um, the categories I want the employee number for the actual values I want it to be the salary uh, so it's very simple to hook up each control has already these pre-made um, list boxes that will just hook up to the data set and then they'll give you the option of what you want for each field so this is one it, while it makes this very simple it's also one of the downsides of the tool because it's not a fle as flexible as what for example you might be used to with Power BI desktop so Power BI is like a one-stop shop where I can import all these raw data I can even uh, set up my own logical model inside the Power BI desktop app I can um, uh, go through the data and actually add columns and do transformations and stuff like that none of this is available here in the mobile report publisher really the way the mobile report publisher works now you have your you have to have your data sets already set up in the format and with the information that you want to present so this right now is really more of a presentation tool because then I'll import the data set and I'm, I'm not allowed to do any further transformations here I simply pick you know what data set do I want to consume from and then what column do I want to consume from from that data set and that's it so there's really no um, no data modeling there's no transformation there's that experience is, is not here at least not here yet we'll see what happens um, so right now this is more of a just report literally report building type of um, of application and then once you're uh, ready to see how this all looks you can press preview and it'll give you an idea of, uh, of uh, how your report is going to work once you have it deployed so let's go back and finally just to show you guys if you're happy with the report then you can just publish it up to uh, the reporting services so I can go in and save my mobile report as save to server I'll give it a name give it a re this is the direction of your report in services uh, URL and then we can find location for it so I'm gonna save it in my human resources folder in my uh, reporting services install and that's it the report was published now on my SSRS so let's go check out what it looks like now as you guys can see uh, the report has been published on the SSRS installation it's under the mobile reports categories I have one item there and look at something that's kinda cool is that the mobile reports get a little thumbnail so we know what they look like and obviously we can just click on it and get the full experience of what the mobile report would look like on this new display of reporting services way more modern looking than before okay so I hope you got a good overview of the mobile report publisher and you're kind of excited about how different 2016 is looking like now for reporting services it's definitely uh, a way that has been modernized that it definitely needed from all these years that it's just been the same type of interface same type of look and feel so remember if you want to try it out the preview of reporting services 2016 is available right now it's CTP uh, 3.2 right now uh, the links for both the preview and for the mobile report publisher are on the blog post that is associated with this video um, just a quick recap of how more or less the workflow works right now so we're still using report builder to create the data sets then those data sets we just consume them through the mobile report publisher and then the mobile report publisher we build a mock-up of the dashboard and we plug in those visualizations to the data sets so that's the experience right now it's probably gonna change have more features be even more integrated the full reporting services uh, new interface will be available by release so as more of these developments keep coming out I'm gonna do more uh, episodes and videos covering the new features coming out in the reporting services story 
for SQL Server 2016. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes, and thanks for watching.